Hey, all my fans and friends. Um, I just said earlier that I would go over um, some good information for tonight's Gemini full moon, which is actually in full moon status now. Um, there's Since this is the last full moon of the calendar year, it's a good time to do some releasing of negative things um, that no longer suit you. The full moon has always had an aura of mystery and magic about it. It's tied to the ebb and flow of the ocean tide, as well as the cycle of women's bodies, um, the maiden, the mother, and the crone. Full moon mysteries cross every culture and continent, and celebrations and ritual involving the full moon go back beyond reported time. The December full moon, which I said is occurring now, is in the sign of Gemini. The December moon is a cold moon. Um, and so it's a good time for dedication to spirit, devotion, peace, prosperity, and strength. Gemini rules adaptability, balance, change, communication, creativity, uh, emotions, money, relationships, and truth. Since this is the last full moon of the calendar year, it's a really good time to tap into this Gemini energy to release emotions and relationships that no longer serve you. Now, I have a particular spell that I wrote that's a releasing ritual. And I know that I've had contact from several people here lately that feel like they have um, barriers they need to let go of um, or people they need to let go of that they just need to forget about, period. Um, this is a good way to do it. It's also a good way to get rid of bad habits if you're trying to quit smoking or some other thing that you're trying to quit doing. Um, what you'll need, and if you aren't sure these are these are very simple supplies but if you aren't sure what I'm talking about please comment on the video and I'll be happy to answer your questions okay you'll need a black candle and a banishing oil such as banishing garlic clove or dragon's blood you'll need an orange candle and a change oil such as fast luck orange oil rose oil strawberry oil or vetiver oil okay and you'll need a white candle and a peace oil, such as blessing, lavender, gardenia, or violet. You'll need a votive or tea light in a holder. You'll need a small bowl or basin of water, a small bowl of or basin of crystals, salt, or dirt, soil, any kind of soil, um, incense and an incense burner, um, cone incense is actually really good for this spell. I typically use stick incense, but for this one, because of the way that we're passing our hands through the elements, cone incense is, is great. It's less, uh, less, less chance of you accidentally burning yourself or dropping ash where you don't need to. Um, and then you'll also need a candle scribe or a toothpick. Um, you can also use a sharpened pencil, and these are for inscribing words on your candles, okay? First thing I want you to do is set up your space. You place the bowl of crystals, earth, or salt in the area of your altar or your workroom that represents the north. Place the incense and burner in the area that represents the east. The votive candle should be in the area representing the south, and the basin of water should be in the west. Yes, I have that right. I have the west. Okay. In a line above the elemental tools, place the black candle, the orange candle, and the white candle. On the black candle inscribe, I release what no longer serves me. Write from the bottom to the top of the candle and be as specific as you can, including names, habits, uh, or what else have you discovered that is holding you back. This is your banishing candle. On the orange candle, write the change that you desire to happen as a result of your banishment. This can be an easy divorce, a new job opportunity, um, some other desire, a new love in your life, a change of scenery, um, a move, any, anything that, that you're trying to manifest in your life at this time. This is your create change candle. Right from the top to the bottom and that the change should be easy and joyful. We don't want stressful change. We want happy change. We want it to be easy. On the white candle, write from the top to the bottom how this change will make you feel and when you want it to start. This is your new beginning candle. 
anoint each candle with the appropriate oil that I mentioned at the beginning when I was giving you the list of supplies. Um, again, with the banishing candle, you can use banishing oil, garlic oil, clove oil, dragon's blood. On the create change candle, you can use change oil, fast luck oil, orange oil, rose, strawberry, or vetiver. All those are good for creating change. And on the white, a peace oil or a oil such as blessing oil, um, lavender oil, gardenia, or violet. All of those are good for uh, peaceful change. Now, um, everybody does things different, so I don't tell you how to cast your circle or prepare your sacred space. That is up to you, your tradition, and your ritual. Now, get that created and then standing in front of your space where you have all of your tools set up, say the following. And I'm going to read this so that um, I don't miss any of the words. I've performed it quite a few times and about have it memorized, but uh, let me just read it so it's very clear. And if you don't understand and need a copy of it, mention in the comments and I will publish the spell on my page. Guardian of the North, hear me. Keep me grounded in the earth. Then I want you to place your fingers in a bowl of soul, salt, or crystals. Envision the solid strength of earth supporting and grounding you. Next say, Guardian of the East, hear me. Fill my spirit with lightness and air. Pass your hand over the incense smoke, envisioning the air lifting and lightening that which no longer serves you. That's why I like the cone incense for this. It it's, works really well. Next, move to your southern position and say, Guardian of the South, hear me. Grant me the energy and power of fire. Carefully pass your hand over the votive candle, envisioning the raw power of fire feeding your change. Move to the West. Guardian of the West, hear me. Cleanse me with the purity of water. Place your fingers in the bowl of water, envisioning the cleansing and purification that comes with that. Like taking a deep swim in a hot spring, just letting all of that wash away. Light your black candle. Focus on ridding yourself of that which no longer serves you. Light the orange candle, focusing on the change you wish to see. Light the white candle, envisioning yourself happy with your new beginning. And then repeat this chant three times. I call upon the blessed air to find the bad and lay it bare. Banish negativity and blow it far away from me. Give me now, O sacred plain, flame, power unto me by name. To never more take time to dwell on that which that has not served me well. Rock and soil of Gaia's earth, ground me now in my rebirth. Give me faith and surety for the future that I want for me. Water pure, sweet and clear, wash away my doubt and fear. Grant me now serenity for the change I wish to see. I set this spell three times three, as I will, so might it be. Now you want to repeat that three times. And then clap your hands loudly to release the energy of the spell. After the candles are spent, take the leftover and wax and wick of the black candle and dispose of it somewhere off your property, not close to anywhere that you frequent. That's a full-on banishing. Take any leftover wax and wicks from the orange candle and place it outside where it will blow away in the wind, the winds of change. Any leftover wax and wick from the white candle should be placed on your bedside table until the next full moon. It assists with lucid dreaming and envisioning your um, future. Okay, also brings peace. Now, this is a spell that I wrote. Um, as you know, I write all of my own spells, so it, you are happy to adjust it to however you need to to um, make it more comfortable for you. Or, uh, if you want to share it, please feel free to do so. The only thing that I ask is that you give credit to where it came from. Um, it's really, I, I give my spells and information for free, and all I want to do is not have somebody else try to take credit for it. That's that's it. It's just it's like an artist, you know, that that you want to recognize when you post something that this is so and so's painting. They did this, um, and then just 
go take a hot bath, grab a glass of wine, sit down, relax, and let the energy that you've put forth start to manifest this releasing and positive change in your life. Blessed full moon to all of you. And if you have any questions, please just post them in the comments below the video. Blessed be.